12 minutes after 8 o'clock, it's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. And our conversation for IRMC Nurses Week brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Vicki Pouncic, Beth Pinkerton with us this morning. Morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you both with us. Uh, so big deal here. Uh, it is Nurses Week, not only at IRMC, but it's Nurses Week overall, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let, let's talk about what's what's happening at IRMC uh, to celebrate, because I know that you have some things planned. Mm-hmm. Yep. We, um, are, we're part of the professional development department, which is um, the nurse educators, otherwise known as. And we, um, we've been planning so, to celebrate our nurses at IRMC because they are so... Wonderful. So we've been working, um, making some exciting plans this morning. We're doing um, popcorn and cotton candy. Um, The the theme this year for RMC is uh, carnival theme. We're celebrating like a carnival. And so we're doing popcorn and cotton candy today. Yeah. And then um, tomorrow we have gifts for all the nurses that we'll be distributing. Um, Wednesday will be our, um, we're doing a, Spin the wheel. Um, we have different gifts, little trinkets um, that will be on every unit, and um, it's a prize wheel. Actually, will be taken around. Mm-hmm. So, um, just something fun like that. We also have a um, break room judging contest. We have we gave them kind of each unit starter packets for the carnival theme. So they started decorating their break room, and um, the judges will come around on Wednesday to then like I said judge each nursing unit to see who has the best decorated break room. Um, and there'll be prizes awarded for that uh-huh. on Friday, is my understanding. I think we ought to do speed contests as well. How, <laughs> uh, how quick you can start an IV and things like that. That's probably not the best idea. Beth would win that one. Are you, are you going to volunteer <laughs> your veins? <laughs> I have hard veins to find. So Beth would win it, you say? She that? would. She's She was an IV team nurse previously uh, that's before true. taking this position. So, yes, she's had many years of experience, so she would be the one to win that. Contest. She can find that pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, seriously, though, talking about nurses um, and, and Nurses Week, um, it used to be we would say uh, she's an RN or she's an, an LPN, and, and, and that would encompass pretty much everything. There's so many more designations now because it is such a refined and specialized craft, isn't there? Oh, yes, absolutely. We still have the RNs and the LPNs as the, the overall licensure Mm -hmm. but then um there are a lot of specializations um under the that umbrella so you know as an rn there are so many different roles that you can have we have patient care nurses that are direct patient care nurses that have special classes that can read the monitor and take care of a patient that's on a heart monitor we have ones that um, know how to take care of a mom who's laboring we have ones that are specialized in the emergency department and every different department has its own special set of skills and um it's it's you know, it's it takes a lot to learn and to be an expert in the, in each area. Yeah, yeah. You you have that basic foundation, mm-hmm. uh, which enables you to really work in any of the various aspects. Mm-hmm. Uh, but just like many other professions, uh, you can specialize it down and mm-hmm. and and really hone in on something, mm-hmm. uh, and 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 focus. Uh, and it, it becomes a career turn, doesn't right. it? Yes, yes, it does. Yes, it does. I've done a little bit of everything in my career. I know Beth has too. We've worked on various units throughout the hospital mm-hmm. and other, myself, other places as well. And um, yeah, so I mean, if you need ever a change, there's always something else within the profession you'd be able to, um, you know, yeah. find your interest in. So. Yeah, and and that that is interesting to me as well because we've had a, a lot of folks who have come in um, uh, from IRMC, uh, mm-hmm. who pursue different specialties mm-hmm. and, and you ask them, well, why did you want to mm-hmm. focus upon this? And it's just something that seemed to be, uh, in their wheelhouse. It was something mm-hmm. that they said, you know, I, I, I took a rotation here mm-hmm. and, and I really, really liked it. Mm-hmm. And I decided that this is going to be, this is what I'm, I'm really interested in doing. And it becomes such a tremendous benefit to the hospital itself, mm-hmm. doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Our hospital has a lot of excellent nurses. It's, um, from from the ER or the whole way up to the seventh floor, um, we have we are very lucky with the nurses that we have. We could always use more, if you know. And um, that's the one thing, the great thing about being a nurse, is that 
it's like many jobs rolled into one. You become a registered nurse or, or a licensed practical nurse, and you can the, – the amount of different jobs that you can do mm-hmm. – is limitless so you're really never going to be bored that's for sure if you <laughs> try something and you do it for three years like for myself i personally have worked at the at irmc for it'll be 29 years in august but i started as a float nurse i worked in all the different departments and then i went to um to the fourth floor which is the post-op floor and worked there for five years and then i went to ob and worked there for 10 years and then i went to the iv team so you can you can do totally different jobs but you're still the nurse, you're still working for IRMC, Mm -hmm. and you become skilled at whatever that job that you choose to do is. And there are um, some basics uh, that that really translate to everything, Um, and that's the level of care, Mm -hmm. um, the concern for your patients. um, And that's one of the things I find in the hospital setting um, that is uh, most interesting to me is um, uh, that it's almost like you've been adopted by your nurse. Uh, (laughs) If you're you're going into the the hospital and you're going to spend a few days there, um, that team, you really become invested as a nurse in the patient, don't you? Absolutely. Yes, yes, you do. You do. I mean, they become, I mean, you establish a relationship from the time you walk in the door. And like you say, you kind of just take that patient under your wing and you're there to help them, um, I mean, through every aspect of that day. And, um, you know, sometimes it is emotional support. Sometimes it's, you know, doing physical things for them. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Yeah, you just want to be everything you can be to that person on that shift. And, I mean, the biggest thing is I think you want to make a difference in their life. And, um, yeah, I think our hospital definitely has a group of nurses that do that every day. And it's, <laughs> and, and it's not just the patient. It's the patient's family um, mm-hmm. that uh, you also have to develop that relationship, too, because they don't understand uh, what's going on. You're the You're the pro. Uh, you understand what's happening here. You sort of have an idea of where this is going to lead, uh, and and uh, and you have certainly a, a great deal invested in the outcome. Uh, and the family understands that, uh, but um, to guide them through that whole process, Beth, uh, and that's a pretty special role that you have to play. It is. That's uh, almost everybody that I know that has chosen to become a nurse is because they want to take care of people. They want to make people better. They want to be there for people. And the biggest role. In being a nurse is being the patient advocate because a lot of times healthcare is it's a crazy road to travel there's you know a lot of things that happen that you're not sure exactly what is happening to you as the patient mm-hmm. and so the nurse is there to be the the, the cushion or the, the communicator between you and the doctor so that you understand what's going on and they understand what's going on and it's always our job to take care of the patient to make sure that that patient has the best care that they can get when we talk about nursing at IRMC, how big of a staff are we thinking of? Nursing? You didn't know I was going to throw math no. at you, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it changes a lot because, um, you know, we've had, through the pandemic, there's been a lot of transition, and so our staff numbers have changed a lot. I believe that our RN staff is around 300, and when we include our LPNs and our nursing assistants, and our ED techs and all the other different roles that are considered nursing, mm-hmm. I feel like there's about around 400 and plus or minus some. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And you were mentioning the fact that you could always use more. Um, <laughs> the educational requirements to be a nurse mm-hmm. require a, a ton of dedication before you ever get there mm-hmm. in, into the hospital setting, mm-hmm. don't they? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so it varies. Um, you can obtain an associate degree with two years of um, school, and there are a few places out there that offer that, um, or you can be go to your four-year program, um, your bachelor's degree from a university. Um, some people have gotten their associates and then went to school, and I think there's some online programs that you can actually get your BS in. Mm-hmm. Some people then go ahead and get their master's um, in various avenues of nursing. Um, and then, yes, of course, the doctorate's available as well. Um, some nurses end up going to be a nurse practitioner. Um, that's another avenue. Some of our nurses have been um, went back to school and obtained their CRNA, so they work as a nurse anesthetist. So, yeah, there's yeah various various ways of obtaining your nursing degree. So. I think it is also interesting to watch um, nurses and and how you work as a team um, mm-hmm. because it is a requirement, mm-hmm. obviously. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, that that whole team concept, not just handing off to the next shift, but within each each unit uh, that is is working together on a given day, 
um, knowing your roles uh, and knowing what has to be done in order, uh, calling upon all of that information uh, and, and being able to bounce things off of this nurse or that nurse um, and, and obviously off of the doctors as well, uh, that's a tremendous advantage when you're working together as a group, isn't it? Absolutely. Teamwork is extremely important. And, um, you know, that's – everybody works together. Um, we, we always want to um, celebrate all nurses as well as our nursing assistants, as well as anybody, um, our secretaries, the whole departments work as a team, um, and that is that's the exciting part of being a nurse. That you know you can rely on your coworkers. And let me tell you something: all nurses are problem solvers. <laughs> that goes <laughs> that goes with the, with the game. You know you you can't be a good nurse if you're not a good problem solver. You're not that's called right. upon to carry duct tape as part of your uh, normal routine, but uh, sometimes it doesn't hurt to have some. Huh? No, it's medical tape, and it works the same. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. Yeah. Most <laughs> nurses have a roll of tape in their pocket and probably some in their car because they took it home with them and emptied their pockets in the car. Yeah, I, I mean, when you when you think about it, and I've seen a lot of nurses in, in action here in this last year, um, I, I, the just the skills, the physical hand, the dexterity of the hands mm -hmm. in order to do this and that while you're mm -hmm. putting this thing up mm -hmm. under here and this mm -hmm. thing over here. And, and it's, it really is uh, amazing to mm -hmm. see. And you guys would make great magicians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably sometimes feel like you have to be yeah. a magician to make this all work, don't you? We learn to adapt. And that's what Beth always says. How resourceful are we? That's true. <laughs> like we do. And even you know, on the professional development team here, uh, the four of us, um, yeah, you just – one of us can't think of something, the other one will, like we all, you know, pitch in, and we find ways of making it all happen. Yeah. And, um, but, yeah, I think it comes from years of experience, you know. It is a celebration of Nurses Week at IRMC, and uh, those of you who have occasion this week to visit with a nurse, uh, be sure to thank them for what they do. Because I know that you are very thankful for all of your colleagues, aren't mm -hmm. you? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 We have the best nurses at IRMC. We do. we do. Hey, thank you so much for coming in to visit with us. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. It. Yes. it is our pleasure, and uh, we're grateful that uh, you're there uh, <laughs> and, and there every day. Mm -hmm. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. And uh, coming up next, Boomer has CBS Sports. Jake is in the newsroom, and he'll come by in just a couple of moments as well. In our next half hour here on Indiana in the Morning, let me move this big thing out of the way. Uh, Nancy Smith is going to be coming in to visit with us. So we'll talk about the St. Vincent de Paul Society. It's 825. It's Indiana in the morning on WCCS.